I think Jesus was like? I think he was like someone who inspires, who gratefully uh, inspires a man like me. Muslim says uh, uh, he's a prophet and different people think him differently. He's king of kings, he's loving, he's patient, and he's long-suffering. To be honest, I'm a Muslim, I'm not a Christian, but I believe he's some sort of, um, he's someone, you know, the humans around the world, they believe all kind of different things. I know that Jesus Christ is my savior, that he uh, died for my sins, and that he set me free, and that I just want to share his love with everybody I meet. Every church knows about Jesus Christ, every person should too. In John, Jesus tells us that he's the way, the truth, and the life, and that he came to show man a better way of how to live and how to think. Jesus was the son of God, and he was a man living among the people. I would say he's the light in our neighborhood. Jesus is the great savior. And I like Jesus and I, I love Jesus. Jesus Christ was uh, he's the son of God, my savior, and uh, I think the savior of the world. He's our salvation. Uh, Jesus turned the world upside down. Strange fella. There is another life a life above all others. It's the life that inspired William Booth to action. It's the life that has achieved more than any other life. It was the life that was given to save the world. It is the life of Jesus Christ. This is the life upon which the Salvation Army, in fact, the whole church, is founded. Everything which follows in this series, either directly or indirectly, is rooted in who Jesus was, what he taught, what he did, and what he still does for us. The series will also show the difference Jesus makes to our life, our one life. Jesus told us he had come that we may have life and have it to the full. John 10, verse 10. His life was about bringing us life, life with eternal quality. No one else can offer it. No one else can make it happen. In his gospel, the apostle John described Jesus, son of God, in this way. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. The apostle Paul, taught that God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself. Jesus explained the giving of his life on the cross by revealing, no one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. It was one life, the life of the world's saviour. Without Jesus, there would be no Salvation Army. Jesus is at the centre of all the army aims to be and do. He is the reason and the motivation for its existence. Mm -hmm.